Some people think that Bloody Mary is just a made-up urban legend, but I assure you, it's all too real. It was around the time of October 2018. We were coming up on the eve of Halloween and some of my friends and I were in the campus bathroom. We'll call them Anna and Beth for short. While discussing our plans for the next day, as well as costumes and etc., we somehow started talking about how Halloween isn't that scary anymore, now that we're older. To change this, Anna said, I know how we can make things scarier this year. Beth muttered, well how? To which Anna replied, let's summon Bloody Mary. Granted, Beth and I were immediately opposed, but after some constant nagging by Anna, we eventually relented. There we were, in the bathroom, trying to do the ritual of turning on the lights on and off several times, flushing all the toilets and chanting her name, only to be interrupted time after time, either by one of the candles being blown out or someone coming into the bathroom. Pretty soon, I had gotten bored of it and was about to leave as a girl had already taken up one of the bathrooms we needed to finish the ritual. Anna banged on the girl's bathroom door and said, hurry up and flush, to which the girl replied, in a minute. As we did the ritual again, the girl who was previously in the bathroom said, you're doing it wrong by the way. You're supposed to say, come out Mary, I have your baby. She then joined in the ritual with us, shockingly, and started chanting, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, I have your baby. Suddenly, the lights began to flicker and the toilets all stopped flushing simultaneously. It had become dead silent in there, and we all froze up, obviously in fear. That's when Beth tried to let out a scream, but nothing came out but a faint whimper as she pointed at the mirror. In the mirror stood the face of a woman. Her face was pale like a freshly decayed corpse, dark red dripping from the black pits that I assume used to be her eyes. Anna stood next to the other girl who helped us, and the two of them froze when that thing in the mirror tilted its head to look at Anna. It then raised one of those sickly pale fingers up at her. I remember asking the other girl who helped us, what does that mean? Why does she point at Anna? And then just as suddenly as Bloody Mary appeared, she vanished. The other girl then revealed herself as Jaina. Jaina told us she was familiar with Ouija boards, witchcraft, and the supernatural, as she is from Louisiana and it's entrenched in her heritage. She went on to tell us the history of Bloody Mary, describing every intimate detail about her. Beth then interrupted after Jana mentioned how skulls used to appear in the mirror for young virgins. Beth demanded why did that thing point at Anna. Jana then said chillingly, She's chosen you as her next victim. Beth and I then proceeded to look at Anna in fear as Anna fearfully gazed back at us. We left the bathroom and proceeded to head to our own dorm. As the night went on, we decided to laugh it off and disregard Jana's warning, but none of us could get the shocking fact about what we saw out of our head. Like this was a whole new prospect. I wasn't religious, nor did I believe in the supernatural, but after what we experienced, how could we deny such a thing existed? That, however, is where things took a turn for the worst. As Anna began to act strangely, as if someone flipped a switch on her, she went from her normal, talkative self to silent. She then went in her room and shut the door. That's when I wrote it off as her being tired or, I guess, scared. But I had my doubts. I asked Beth, what if it's Bloody Mary? Beth discounted my concerns stating it was just a mirror illusion or a magic trick. Nothing's going to happen. Just as she said that Anna's door creaked open. I remember hearing this distinct muttering coming from her mouth, but it was low and rather incoherent. I asked Anna, are, are you okay? Beth then said, cut it out, it's not even funny anymore. Anna stood in what I can only describe as utter darkness. Only when she moved further into the light did Beth and I screamed as blood was pouring from Anna's face, as she had cut slits in her own mouth, as she began to grin and laugh maniacally. <laughs> that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was the long knife she was holding, 
Beth and I knew this was no longer a joke and began to back away. It was then I heard Anna say, where's my baby? And she then lunged at us. I want to say I helped fight her off or I hit her with something, but I didn't. I watched as she stabbed Beth repeatedly and I cringed in horror as I saw Beth's body eventually stop moving. I was frozen in fear. It was then I noticed a dark figure in the corner of the room as I then locked eyes with Anna. I tried to reason with her, snap her out of it, something, but all she could do was continue muttering in that guttural, demonic tone. I ran for the door and only managed to unlock it before Anna grabbed me. And just as she did, I felt my life flash before my eyes. I, I couldn't believe this. This is how I was going to die. I say that until I heard it. And then a thump. Anna was dead. Campus security had been called by what I presume was by people hearing the commotion. I stood there horrified at how this innocent game had claimed the lives of both my best friends. As I looked around the room in disbelief, a crowd gathered and I saw Jaina shaking her head, but that's not the worst of it. The worst of it was the figure in the corner. It then said loud enough for what I know everyone in that room to hear, I found my baby. Ha 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 ha!